I learned a simple process which says that you know, when our doubt arises in our life, you know, uh, doubt the doubt. And whenever trust arises, trust the trust. My question is now that the ultimate, next step we are saying, the ultimate as a final step, I would like to ask is dissolution or what we call moksha. That is one area which, you know, I don't know how to take a, you know, step forward. I don't know whether I, my question is clear. You want to dissolve? Okay. I mean, that, is, that is the ultimate, you know, process. You need a barrel of sulfuric acid. <laughs> Please sit down. Okay, can we uh, No, we'll answer that question. Yeah. Should we take one or two other questions if you're okay with that? But you won't get this kind of a okay. question. <laughs> The reason why the so-called spiritual process has fallen upon ridicule in the world is, well, there may be few entrepreneurs who do their own things, leave them. I'm not going into that. But the reason why spiritual process has become ridiculous on the planet is, because people try to do the highest things on the street side without the necessary committed atmosphere, without the necessary focus, simply talk about mukti, moksha, you know. In the previous generation, everybody talked about mukti, moksha just about anywhere, sitting, standing. Whenever life became miserable, they want moksha. When it's going well, they forget about moksha. <laughs> Their idea of moksha itself is convoluted. So this is important. With all due respect to everybody who has spoken about these things, maybe those things were spoken in a certain atmosphere to a certain individual towards a certain purpose. I think it's quite irresponsible, first of all, to print that in a book and just everybody reads it without knowing the context of what it is, without having gone, gone through the journey that person who asked that question is go gone through, the question doesn't have depth. Answers we can give any number, all you will do is you will pick up more words from today evening and it's not going to do anything. If you're serious about it, if you're really serious about it, if you're serious about your journey, leave all this, first of all, get rid of all the jargon, all the spiritual jargon, just come to this much. How much of you is sense, how much of you is nonsense, sit down, unprejudiced, just make an evaluation, just an accountant's job, okay? How much of you is, let me use the right appropriate word, sense and how much of you is nonsense? Every day, see it out, you will see it's not an easy job. And ask some of you, two friends of yours and two people who don't like you, <laughs> also to assess you. You know, you need an outside opinion, isn't it? Second opinion is always good. You will see it's a great cleansing process. Instead of talking mukti, moksha, dissolution, susupti, something else, something else, these are all words. Anybody can pick up Sanskrit words, what is the point? Let's take all the scriptures, all the teachings, all the philosophies, all the great things that people have spoken about. All of them are worth nothing compared to a single existential t step that you took inward. If you take one step, it is worth more than all the scriptures in the universe put together.